Hello, do you not live in Afghanistan, Belarus, Burma, Cote d'Ivoire, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Hong Kong, Iran, Iraq, Liberia, North Korea, persons undermining the sovereignty of Lebanon or its democratic processes and institutions, Portugal, Saudi Arabia, Sierra Leone, Sudan, Syria, Tasmania, the United Arab Empire, Western Balkans, Zimbabwe, or somewhere else that prohibits skill-based competitions without a permit? Well, congratulations! That means you can probably enter the Abu for Suck tournament that I'm hosting in two weeks. If you're wondering what Abi for Suck is, then I'll explain it basically. The word Abi is a shortened version of the word obstacle course, which is commonly used on Roblox to classify a certain style of game in which the player is tasked to race to the end of an obstacle course. Abi for Suck is one of those types of games, the only catch being, when you complete the Abi, you get the SUCK! <laughs> um... Now, there is an urban legend going around that if you complete Obby for Suck at 3 a.m., you actually get the suck in real life, but that isn't important here. Anyways, a while ago, me and some of my friends decided to host a national tournament to see who could set the world record. It ended up being originally set by me with a time of 8 minutes and 10 seconds. However, my friend Alex beat that time with an even shorter time of 7 minutes and 30 seconds, which is why both of us are banned from entering. But let's get to the information regarding the tournament. Unlike the last tournament, this will be a worldwide, probably, tournament. I don't have an actual name for it, so you can just call it the Worldwide Obby for Suck Tournament, the Obby for Suck Race, the O B for Suck Olympics. Uh, it'll be hosted on the 23rd of March from 6 a.m. UTC to 8 a.m. UTC, and I put those times in other time zones on the screen. There will be prizes for first, second, and third place, too, so that's nice. Unfortunately, there are some legal issues with making the prizes suck, so they're just going to be cash prizes. There's no entry fee, so people of any age should be able to enter. However, if you're under the age of 13, then you're not allowed to enter because I don't want any unnecessary lawsuits from parents or the FTC. The event will be live-streamed on my channel and possibly Twitch, so if you enter, just make note of the fact that you may be asked to speak live. Okay, cool. Let's go over some rules. 1. You mustn't use any modifications to your Roblox client or game, especially if it would enhance your chances of winning. 2. You are not allowed to use the admin game pass during the competition. 3. While some swearing is allowed, please refrain from any racial, sexist, homophobic, or otherwise bigoted slurs during the competition or while speaking live. 4. You are not allowed to use any exploits within Roblox or the game itself that would further your position or prevent other players from proceeding. 5. You must touch each section's spawn point before you proceed to the next section. 6. You may not skip any section. 7. If your computer is to fail in some way during the competition, you may be assisted or teleported back to the last place you were before your computer failed. 8. If the competition is to end in a tie, the players in a tie will race repeatedly until a winner is decided. 9. If after two races tied players are still undecided, they may choose to split the prize equally between themselves. 10. If you are acting harmfully or annoyingly, you may be either warned or disqualified. 11. Failure to follow these rules will result in you either being warned or becoming disqualified from the tournament entirely. Nice! Now let's get to how the tournament will work. Depending on the amount of players, they will be split up into various pools of equal or almost equal amounts of people. Each pool will race through the entire obby, and the players who do best will be combined into another pool. If there are over five players in this pool, it will be split up into two or more pools. The second pool will then race again, and at the end, the top three players will be crowned the winners. If there is more than one second pool, each will race again until there is only one or two pools left that have in total three players. In between each race, the hosts, me and Alex, may commentate on the current status of everything, and we may interview players that are winning or losing. If something happens that is unexpected in some way, I may alter the flow of the tournament while it is in progress. However, I will make sure to alert all players of this, and no change will be too drastic. There is one last thing I should note, though. There is a specific level in which you must travel across three red platforms. If you choose the incorrect one, you will fall and have to complete it again. During the competition, the answer key to this level will be clearly shown in some way, or incorrect platforms will be removed. This is because having this sort of obstacle adds an element of chance to the competition, which could potentially label this tournament as a sweepstakes in some countries. While it would probably still be legal, I don't want to take any chances as I am not that good at law. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed! You can sign up for the tournament in the form in the description, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. XD.
Alright, yo, so, uh, quick addendum, just in case this video or the tournament gets taken down, just know that it's because, uh, well, I did attempt to contact, uh, Unict Unicticon, I think that's how you pronounce the name of the creator of Obby for Suck, while I did attempt to contact them, I never got a response, and I was running out of time, so I just made this anyways, uh, if you are watching this, you Nicticon, and you want to take this down, feel free to. Just message me somehow. Uh, I realize it's probably not a good idea to do with this without the person's permission, but... Um, I'm lazy. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's what, that's why. Uh, have fun.